Tonight, multiple roads across the Ohio Valley are closed right now after the remnants of Tropical Depression Ida hit this morning. We have all that you need to know to stay safe right now. The rain cleared up, though, this afternoon as we enter September with a pretty chilly start. Thank you for joining us for 7 News at 6. I'm Steve Moore. And I'm Catherine Guyon. Here's a live look outside right now over Wheeling, where you can see it's still pretty overcast, but it doesn't appear like much rain is falling, at least in the friendly city right now. So is this the end, though, of the nonstop rain this week? Let's send it on over to our chief meteorologist, Dr. Dave Walker, to find out more. Good evening, Doc. Well, good evening, Catherine. The only thing we're watching right now is Duck Creek in Noble County and Washington counties in Ohio. Uh, both should drop below flood stage by 7 and 8 p.m. Now, at this point, we're looking at our Storm Tracker 7 live through AC Doppler radar. Nothing in the immediate area. We are looking at the hydrograph for Wheeling, and it looks like it's going to crest at about 28.7 feet late tonight, early tomorrow, which is 7.3 feet below flood stage. That's good news. And they're looking at thermometers right now, upper 60s to low 70s. And as we go through the overnight, we're going to see slowly clearing skies, and you will be surprised how chilly it's going to be tomorrow morning. We'll have more on your weather in a couple of minutes. Let's head back to the news desk for now. Doc, thanks. The weather alerts may have ended for the Ohio Valley, but residents are still living with the damage. This evening, several roads are still closed from continued flooding on the roadways. 7 News reporter Colin Roos joins us live now to show us how conditions are at the moment after the remnants of Tropical Depression Ida hit the northern panhandle. Colin. Catherine and Steve, the worst of the storms ended hours ago at this point, but some of the roads are still submerged under the several inches of rain we received earlier, and crews are hard at work clearing them out. Now, some of the worst, some of the hardest hit areas included Brook County, where officials are still recommending alternate routes for drivers. Parts of Virginville and Route 67 are closed off as of early this evening, and a couple on Pot Rock Run Road says they're still dealing with a flooded basement and yard, and that they haven't seen it this bad since Hurricane Katrina. The water got too high and it washed all this debris down the creek from Pot Rock, this back road, and it plugged up this culvert, and uh, the the creek is not straight and it needs dredged out, and it's bad. We keep telling them to do that. My neighbor does too. Now, it's important to keep in mind that it's always a bad idea to drive through standing water. The saying goes, turn around, don't drown. Now, Brook County says most of the roads are back open at this time. They've just cleared a tree from, a, from Allegheny Road in Fallensby. And Sheriff Richard Beatty says at this time, Brook County is out of harm's way tonight. Reporting for 7 News, I'm Colin Roos, working for you. Thank you, Colin. New details tonight, Route 67 towards Beth.